The year is 1987. The very first Final Fantasy game has been released in Japan for the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Naked Eye Supernova, which has not been viewed since 1604, has been viewed by astronomers. And of course, Microsoft has released its second version of Windows, Windows 2.0. Windows 2.0 was a 16-bit operating environment designed to run over MS-DOS. Now, there were some small improvements with Windows 2.0, or well, I'll be using it 2.03. There was the ability to drag Windows across the screen while using a tile format like the Windows 1.0, and coincidentally, kind of like, I don't know, Windows 8. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right to the demo. Hello guys, welcome to my Windows 2.03 demonstration. Now, now, there actually are a couple versions of Windows 2.0. So around the time Windows 2 came out, um, the 386 processor came out from Intel. Now, there are obviously a different architecture for the 386 and the widely used 286. So Microsoft had to create two separate versions of Windows 2.11 for the 286 and the 386. However, on this virtual machine, they do both work. Despite the fact I probably have like a 586 by this point. So anyway, let's get right into the video. So I gotta do uh, CD, Windows, and I gotta do Win. Win. And I gotta make the screen bigger. And this is the MS-DOS executive for Windows 2.0. Now we have drop you drop I have mouse support now. And now I can look at all these. So let's get the info here of this. Of not what I wanted. So if I do this, I get this. So like it's kind of like the sidebar on Windows 7 and higher. So you know some of the things that Windows needs just now, I think they might have taken from Windows 2 and Windows 1. Now obviously it doesn't work on Windows 1, except um, Obviously, I couldn't drag and drop it because, like I said, I didn't have a mouse, and I could use the mouse drivers from Windows 2, but that would just take too much work. So let's check out some of the programs. I can also install Windows, uh, Windows uh, Word, Microsoft Word, and also Microsoft Works for um, Windows 2.0. However, I have not. So, this oh. Paint Conversion Utility. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. No. Now, PIFs are like, uh, are like, um, kind of like desktop shortcuts, or kind of shortcuts, I guess, to a program. Like, it could be MS-DOS programs. Um, so let's, let's see, control panel. I'm going to actually change the colors around here. Uh, installation, add new printer, add new font, uh, set up communications port. That's if you want to install, I believe, a separate computer. Uh, border whips. Have your screen color is what I want. Ooh, ah, baboo, ah, yeah. Application works, please. Yeah, I want. I want. Give me some crazy colors. Let's go crazy with these colors here. Okay, I think we're good. Oh God, I got the. Uh, it even actually had to load it. Load it, like you know. Um, close. Let's see. Notepad, here we go. Um, hello, my name is Will. Yeah. Anyway, save. So, like, let's say I want to minimize it, right? So, I go back to Notepad. Doop. Paint. Doop. Uh, MS DOS executive. Doop. And I can have more than just one executive. So, like, let's go to. Uh, MS DOS, boop. I can have all these little things. I think you guys can drag them. You can drag them across this. Uh, it's kind of like you know, like the early Apple. Uh, so if you were to have like all these icons just on the the screen, it kind of reminds me a lot of the early um, Apple OS. Um, so like you know, except without the uh, top drop down menu. There, so let's go back to the MS DOS executive. I can minimize it, maximize it. I can also resize it, unlike in Windows One, I believe. 
Um, we got right, we got notepad. Let's check our right here. Let's see what we got here. Minimize it. So, yeah, we got all these different little nifty programs here already installed, you know. Um, what else is there? Oh, yeah, also reverse -y. Let's play some reverse -y, guys. Alright. How do, you, how do you play this game? Alright, uh. You can only move to a space where the cursor line is crossed. Ah! Oh, ha! How do you play this game? I don't know. Ha! Uh, we got! I should do a let's play of Reversi for my channel. Hey guys, what is up? Sergeant Zazzy here, and today we're gonna be playing some Reversi. Let's do this! Anyway, um, whatcha? Whoa. How, 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 how do I win? How do I. Whoa! Whoa! All my red dots are gone! Oh god! Uh, whatcha? Uh, whatcha? Ah, ah, gotcha, gotcha. Bam! Uh, bam! Uh, bam! Uh, bam! Bam! Pass. What, what's that? What's that mean? Did I win? Did I, did I beat the game? Did I beat the game? Uh, you may not pass. All right. Okay. Whatever. Otherwise that. So yeah, like I can have a little window here. Just all my little programs, you know. All right, let's draw something here. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna draw my name in cursive to the best of my ability. Oh, my user name, obviously. There we go. I need a. I need more space. Okay, there we go. I was told too terrible ass. Eh. Oh god, it's terrible. Z's. Snazzy. Oh yeah. Oh I gotta draw my I gotta draw myself. Let's draw myself here. There we go. I'm gonna draw myself with my little hat. <laughs> I suck at painting on, on the computer, dude. I I that's why oh right, here's my little hat. There's my little eyes. I got it on my glasses. It's just t <laughs> I look like Ar I'm actually have Arthur, but I got it on my little nose and then like smile. Yeah, I look pretty happy. I I'm gonna draw myself like just waving. I'm gonna draw a little text bubble. I'm gonna draw a little bubble for text. Hang on, hang on. There we go. All right. Um. Hey guys, it's Sergeant Snazzy here. Let's get right into the new. <laughs> no, okay, okay. That's just that's good. I'm gonna save that. <laughs> this is my masterpiece. I, I should use this for my uh for my YouTube artwork. Save as uh. Snazzy. Yeah, alright, let's try another one. Alright, um, I'm gonna draw one, um, what's this? Uh, let's try... Let's try to reveal. Okay, real one, alright, right, right. I'm gonna be real, okay, I'm gonna draw a person. Alright, alright, <clears throat> I'm gonna draw a car. This is my, this is my, this is my dream car. Right here. Uh, I got the wheel wells. You got the really, really badly shaped tires. I mean, look at those tires, man. There's a, there we go. Got it. Okay. And then I draw a car. I'm not really. I never was good at drawing cars, actually. This is my uh, Ford Escort uh, Mark II. Uh, very. Uh, it's an '87, I believe. I, I actually do like my Ford Escort a lot. <laughs> and, uh, I can't do. <laughs> it has a very wide, a very long back window. Uh, that's okay though, because it's it's a police car. Now it's a. Uh, oh, that was a total fail. How do you how do you undo? How do you undo? Undo. 
Alright, alright. You're gonna have to. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna get a little. Wee Um. Crawl to try the doors. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Just don't even give a sh. There, there. There's my car. I'll crawl to my headlights. There you go. There. That's my car. Oh, I got a little guy in there, just, you know, chilling. <laughs> okay, okay, enough fooling around. Let's, uh, let's get back into the, uh... Yes. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do you mean I can't... What, is that, I can't have spaces? What? What the fuck? Okay. Um. Let's try it without space. Please car. What? What do you mean I can't... David, a oh, con. Uh, police. Bam. Close. All right. What else we got here? Read me. Oh, here we go. Uh, Microsoft users got. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, um, Pip editor is uh. Yeah, like I said, a PIF is like a, um, what's the terminal? Whoa! Stop beeping at me. Connect. I want to I wanna connect to the internet. There is no phone number in your phone stage. Would you want to continue? I, I want to connect to the internet. Let me, let me connect here. Uh, a terminal. Okay. Uh, uh, translation. Um, there's only like three translations. Um, uh, I want, I want antsy, antsy, come on dude, I know antsy is the best, uh, phone, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna connect to my phone number, uh, it's my old home phone number, 676, do I have to have, uh, dashes? No, I wonder, I wonder here, could it be possible to actually connect an actual Windows 2 machine to a phone number, you know, a landline, I, I kinda wanna do that, I wanna, I wanna, I want to know. Um. Ah, God damn it. All right. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Oh wait, no, it'll be two oh seven, right? Two oh seven. Six seven. Six. Four four three six. I doubt this number is still in use. I tried calling it a while back. It doesn't work. I want a pulse. Pulse. Actually, no. Tone is good. Speed. Yeah. Wait for tone. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's see if I can connect. Ah, Communication. Whoa. So, like, that'd be kind of cool, though. Um, Handshake. I remember handshakes. Oh, that was from networking class. Too bad I didn't pay attention in that class. And I'm going to do a computer. Wait, so could I do a computer-to-computer -computer connection? Like, like, if I had a virtual machine running Windows 1, and a virtual machine running Windows 2, could I connect to um both of them? You know what? That's a, that's a little. I actually on my old computer at home, I had a virtualized network for all my 9x and above machines, like in 95, 98, even Windows 3 actually I believe had was part of my network. Um, it was a local area network, basically a FTP server, so all the computers could collaborate together and transfer files. Uh, floppies, whatever they want. So, like, if I wanted to give give some music to one of my other virtual machines, I could do that. You know, hey, buddy, here's some music. So I go to my Windows 2000 machine, transfer your 98, 95, XP, Vista 7, whatever. You know, of course, on that version, I, was using, I could not use anything higher than Vista. On that was on a Windows 2000 computer, and I was running VMware version 5. So that was pretty old, actually. I'm probably rambling on here. Probably should end this. Um, let's see. Write, paint, practice. Oh, that's probably for uh, uh, Windows Word, Microsoft Word, CVT paint, um, ABC dot text. This is the contents of the F. Well, I don't understand that file. Like, it's what is it? Calendar. All right. All right. Um. Here's what I gotta do today. What is it? What's today's date? June twenty eighth. All right. Today. Meet with George. 
Cause I mean, with a, I mean, uh, fuck. I mean, with a friend today, actually. Uh, he likes he likes vaporwave like me, so he put George at SMCC. All right. Save. Uh, George. Bam. Ah. Shit. Bam. Ah. Yes. Awesome. Close. Actually, you know, I'm gonna minimize it. There, I got all my look at all my pretty little windows here. You're just kinda chilling out on the uh spool or I believe yeah, it's for a printer. I don't have a printer installed. I mean like you probably be using like freaking uh Oh look at that, look at a little computer monitor. It's pretty cute. Looks cute. Um so I don't know if these are actually all active programs or they're just running in the background. See like I can bring it up like that and then Minimize it. Yeah. Oh, I have the bitmap and I can't open it. I actually tried to make it a bitmap in the last video. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Ah, there's a police car. Anyway, um, close. Um, I think it's. I'm gonna do clock. Can I run the clock in the background? I like, can actually see. Oh, wait. I can actually see the time. Wait. Okay, hang on. What if I change the time? Can I change the time? Oh, wait, I want... Alright, uh... Because that looks like the active time. So, will that actually move? If... I... Were to wait a couple hours. Well, I don't want to spend too much longer on this video. I think I spent enough time already. So anyway, guys, that is Windows... Uh... 2.0. So I'm gonna just kind of do a, a quick quickie for Windows 2.11. All right, so I'll be right back. So yeah. All right, so this is Windows 2 Windows 2.11 or Windows 2.86. Now I do not have Windows 3.86 installed, but I mean it's pretty much the same thing. It's just designed for the 3.86 processor. So yeah, pretty much the same programs, uh, except it's I. Dude, the color has been changed around. This is the first we're gonna to support. S is it EGA? No, B. No, EGA. Yeah, no. Uh, sorry, CGA graphics. CGA, uh, I believe. Yeah, because the previous version of Windows were running on monochrome, I believe. Um, now, like CGA, it, it kind of looks like ugly. Uh, well, because you know certain certain mo certain computers. I actually watched a video about CGA yesterday. Um, by the 8 bit guy, you should really check him out. So, like, I recommend for old you check it out LGR and the 8 bit guy for old computer videos. Um, I'm not really as knowledgeable about my computers as they are, um, at least from like older stuff like Commodores and um, Apple IIs and stuff like that. I'm more into the mid 80s, uh, early 90s computers. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about getting an actual, I actually want to get an older computer just to run stuff like Windows 98, 95, and stuff, like my old computer, I actually had been dual booting Windows 95 and 98, which is actually impossible because the 9X series of Windows does not allow you to make partitions for multiple 9X operating systems. There was a special floppy program I had to install onto a floppy disk, and if I put this floppy in the drive, it would kind of start up this like kind of like this dual boot like partition program, a subroutine, some I guess you could say, uh, to let you dual boot from 9x, uh, ME, even like you know, and then of course I have my Windows 2000 partition, you know, and above. So it would would have been possible to it would have been possible to install pretty much every OS that I could handle on that. Um, machine from the nine, Windows 9X and NT series so I actually did install I think I don't, I don't think it did try to install NT though on on uh, that computer NT 4.0 anyway this is like it's a pretty much the same stuff you know it's just for the 286 and 386 uh, I have not installed the 386 version yet just the two what the three two yeah the, the, the 286 version so yeah I know it's pretty much the same thing I'm so I'm wondering here I got the I got this set up right here, the terminal. So, communication. I'm gonna do the computer to computer net connections. Now, I'm gonna actually turn this thing off and set up some COM ports 
because you can set up uh, COM ports on your virtual machine and we're going to find out if I can connect two computers from the Windows 1X 2X series together. So it's going to be a separate video for this probably because I'm, I'm already past like almost 20 minutes in so I'm going to just stop it here and if I can get a connection oh, there we go. oh my phone's ringing hang on I gotta pause this sorry about that guys um, so anyway that's that's pretty much it for uh, this video like I said I'm gonna make a separate video for the terminal connection of Windows 1 Action 2 X or both so anyway guys thanks for watching this fantastic video I hope you have a fantastic day and uh yeah that's <laughs> oh wait um I'm gonna do a uh I'm gonna do a thing I'm gonna do a thing and I'll, I'm gonna do a, a start this nazi thing um Where's paint? Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. See you guys. See you guys next time on the history of computers. The Revolution series is called Yeah.